Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for January the 11th, 2012. Now to get started, our first position is going to be in the stock market, specifically the AMD stock. Now this is a stock that we've been looking at over the last several months, beginning to make a move again. Key level 544, 551 and 562 with a close of 571. Now what I find interesting about this particular tech stock here is I, I find it to be grossly undervalued. We've got good, good earnings coming out of this company. We have uh, AMD. The AMD uh, GPU processor is, is showing up in many computers, including Apple. So uh, again, a very attractive stock at only currently trading at $5.71. So with that said, we can see our pred predicted MACD, predicted true strength indicator, both showing a strong buy signal, predicted short, medium, and long-term differences, all at trend-ready levels. So from here, what we're going to do is go into our daily report from Vantage Point and see if we can fine-tune this entry point a little bit. Now, looking at the stock here from the from the uh, predicted high and predicted low standpoint, we have 564 and 582. Now, in my respectful opinion, we're going to probably pull back towards that 564 area, but then we're going to have a much bigger move, potentially over the $6 mark. So your intraday traders, we're looking at a 20 cent move, still a very substantial move on a very inexpensive stock. Now, from a medium to longer term perspective, if we can get over that $6 mark, we have the potential to move back towards that $8 mark on this particular stock. So again, a very, uh, very good opportunity here. And uh, to, to clarify, I've been trading this one myself for many, many months. So we're looking for about a 20% return for tomorrow. But from a longer term perspective, I think we can push much, much higher. Now, that's our first position for tonight. Now our second position is going to be in the Forex market, specifically the British pound US dollars. Now what we're doing is looking at continuing that pattern of buying US dollars. We're just trying to find, trying to find a good place to do that. Now with the pound dollar, our key level 155.39, 155.10, and 154.88 with a close of 154.85. So we still remain net bearish. Our predicted MACD still showing it still showing a very bearish move to the downside. Our predicted stochastic getting a little bit oversold, but still room to extend lower. Now from here, what we want to do is break this down by crossover, starting with our short-term crossover. We can see that our short-term crossover remains to the downside. Our medium-term crossover also pointing lower, and our long-term crossover still clearly pointing lower. So from here, what we want to do is, again, look at the predicted short, medium, and long-term differences. They're still well below the zero line, sitting at trend-ready level. Now, again, we're going to go into our daily report from Vantage Point. And see if we can fine tune this entry point. Now for tomorrow we have 155.47 is our predict predicted high and 154.54 is our predicted low. Now we've closed very close to the predicted low. So what we're looking for here is a move higher in order to set our short positions. Using this volatility, this short term volatility in the markets to get a better price on buying US dollars. So for tomorrow, any move towards this 155.47 area, we're going to use that to set shorts and then we're going to again target the 154.54, I would say even lower, potentially towards the 153.50 area on the short side. So with that said, these are the market positions for January the 11th, 2012. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.